Hi children, welcome back to our class. Uh, we are continuing with the discussion of our second chapter, Acids, Bases and Salts. In the last class, we saw the different chemical properties of acids and bases. Now we move on to our next topic, Behavior of Acids and Bases in Water. An important topic, Behavior of Acids and Behavior of acids and bases in water. First we will see how acids behave in water. In presence of water, what happens to acids? For example, take hydrochloric acid. So, when hydrochloric acid is mixed with water, when it comes in contact with water, it splits into, splits into two ions positively charged hydrogen ions and negatively charged chloride ions similarly sulfuric acid in presence of water sulfuric acid splits into positively charged hydrogen ion and negatively charged sulfate radical here see children here there are two hydrogen atoms that's why upon uh, splitting it produces two hydrogen ions two hydrogen ions are produced and you get a sulfate radical now another commonly used acid is nitric acid in presence of water nitric acid also splits into H plus hydrogen ion positively charged hydrogen ion and negatively charged nitrate radical okay so this is how acids behave in presence of water hydrochloric acid splits into positively charged hydrogen ion and negatively charged chloride ion sulfuric acid splits into positively charged hydrogen ion and negatively charged sulfate radical so for 2 minus nitric acid splits into h plus hydrogen ion and negatively charged nitrate radical now what is common in all these three reactions all these are acids in presence of water what is the common behavior shown by all of them? That is the formation of H plus ions. Hydro, all of them form hydrogen ions. H plus ions are formed by all of them. Hydrogen ions are formed by all of them. And we can say that these hydrogen ions, H plus ions are responsible for the uh, acidic nature of all acids. All acids show acidic properties because of the presence of H plus ions due to the formation of H plus ions. Okay, please keep in mind in presence of water all acids produce positively charged hydrogen ions, H plus ions. These H plus ions are responsible for the acidic nature of all acids. And we can also say that aqueous solution of acids. What do you mean by aqueous solution? Solution in water. Aqueous solution of all acids conduct electric current. What is the reason for that? Hmm? What is the reason for the uh, conduction of electric current through this aqueous solution of acids? Because aqueous solution of acids contain positive and negative ion. Electric current as you know is the movement of electric charges. Here we have positive ions and negative ions. Upon passing current they will move on. These ions will be moving on to their uh, respective electrodes. Negative oppositely charged electrodes they will be moving to. So that results in the conduction of current. So aqueous solutions of all acids conduct electric current due to the presence of positive and negative ions. Okay. Now one more thing is that these H plus ions are not capable of independent existence. Hydrogen ions are not capable of independent existence. So what they do is, once they are produced, they combine with the water molecule. Water molecule here and it forms another positively charged species known as hydronium. So, H plus ion exists as hydronium ion. H plus is not capable of independent existence. It cannot exist alone. So, it combines with a molecule of water and it forms H3O plus hydronium ion. Okay. Is it clear to you? So, all acids in presence of water produce positively charged hydrogen ions. And these positively charged hydrogen ions are responsible for the acidic nature of all acids. Also, Please keep in mind, in the absence of water, H plus ions are not 
produced so will acid show acidic property in the absence of water no because h plus ions will not be produced if water is absent only in presence of water hydrogen ions are produced so only in presence of water acidic properties are also shown okay and aqueous solutions of all acids conduct electric current due to the presence of positive and negative ions positive and negative ions will be moving on to the oppositely charged electrodes upon passing electric current so they conduct electricity aqueous solutions of all acids conduct electric current the last thing is h plus ions hydrogen ions are not capable of independent existence they cannot exist alone so they will combine with a molecule of water and change into hydronium ion so h plus exists as h3o plus just keep in mind h plus is not capable of independent existence but it exists as h3o plus uh, by combining with a molecule of water so the first reaction that we have written we can write it as here you got h plus and as i told you h plus is not capable of independent existence so it exists as h3o plus plus cl minus so this is how the actual uh, equation looks like h3o plus plus cl minus positive ion and negative ion so it conducts electric current so uh, that's about acids how acids uh, behave in presence of water is it clear all acids produce h plus ions and h plus ion is responsible for the acidic nature of all acids now let us see how bases behave in presence of water for example take naoh in presence of water naoh splits into positively charged sodium ions and negatively charged hydroxide ions similarly magnesium hydroxide in presence of water splits into positively charged mg2 plus ions and negatively charged oh minus hydroxide ions koh another example in presence of water k plus plus oh minus so this is how bases behave in presence of water they splits into positive and negative ion the negative ion formed in all the cases is oh minus hydroxide ion hydroxide ion so this hydroxide ions are responsible for the basic nature of all bases basic nature of all bases are due to the presence of hydroxide ions and hydroxide ions are produced only in presence of water so basic character is uh, shown only in the presence of water basic nature of all bases are shown only in the presence of water in the absence of water they will not show any basic properties and just like acids as you have positive and negative ions here Uh, aqua solutions of all bases will conduct electric current due to the presence of positive and negative ions due to the presence of positive and negative ions in presence of water they will conduct electric current so hope it is clear to you acidic nature is due to h plus ion and basic nature is due to oh minus hydroxide ion and all these properties are shown only in presence of water because these ions are split only in presence of water so acidic and basic properties are shown only in presence of water this is an important topic acidic property due to h plus and basic property due to oh minus and all these only in presence of water because this splitting into positive and negative ions take place only in presence of water okay and aqueous solution of both acids and bases conduct electric current due to the uh, presence of oppositely charged ions positive and negative ions now one more topic is there one more small topic under this alkali what are alkalies okay base is soluble bases alkalies are nothing but soluble bases so bases which are soluble in water are known as alkalies examples are naoh sodium hydroxide potassium hydroxide koh and magnesium hydroxide mgoh twice okay so bases which are soluble in water are known as alkalies examples are sodium hydroxide potassium hydroxide magnesium hydroxide etc okay so that's about behavior of acids and bases in water alkalies please keep in mind soluble bases and their examples now one more thing you have to learn under that activity Uh, from your ncert textbook page number 23 activity 2.9 and figure 
that activity you have to learn that is actually uh, last year's board question how to prepare hydrogen chloride gas hydrogen chloride is written as see children preparation of hydrogen chloride gas hydrogen chloride hcl it is written as hcl as you know hcl is a formula of hydrochloric acid but in the gaseous form we call it as hydrogen chloride gas and in the aqueous form in water we call it as hydrochloric acid okay so this is gas and this is aqueous form it is known as hydrochloric acid both have the same formula preparation of this hydrogen chloride gas is uh, explained uh, with the help of an activity here by the reaction between NaCl sodium chloride and concentrated sulfuric acid equation and all you need not learn just learn what are the substances used for the production of hydrogen chloride gas NaCl sodium chloride and concentrated sulfuric acid as a result of this reaction you get hydrogen chloride gas uh, this hydrogen chloride gas gas as you know is dry you are getting dry gas to this dry hydrogen chloride gas dry HCl you are showing dry uh, red litmus to this dry hydrogen chloride gas you are showing a dry that is an activity which is explained in your textbook to the dry hydrogen chloride gas you show a dry red litmus paper sorry not red litmus paper it is blue litmus paper dry blue litmus paper will there be any color change will there be any color change will it show any acidic properties no change because what is the reason because it is dry HCl is dry litmus paper is also dry there is no presence of water so no H plus ions are produced no H plus ions are produced no water present in the absence of water no H plus ions are produced so no change is shown towards the dry litmus paper okay on the other hand if you are drawing a wet blue litmus paper to this dry hydrogen chloride gas there will be color change because presence of water is there this will change into HCl aqueous so there will be production of H plus ion and definitely there will be color change that activity is explained once again I will repeat page number 23 activity 2.9 and figure 2.4 preparation of hydrogen chloride gas and how it behaves to wet and dry blue litmus papers this is an important question last year's board question okay so learn it from the textbook now we move on to the next topic dissolving an acid or a base in water so this is our next topic dissolving an acid or a base in water so this process of dissolving mixing an acid or a base in water is known as dilution mixing an acid or a base with water dissolving it in an acid or a base is known as dilution and this dilution mixing an acid or a base with water is highly keep in mind this is a highly exothermic process Mixing an acid or a base with water is a highly exothermic process. What do you mean by exothermic? Large quantity of heat is produced. Exothermic means reactions in which heat is given out. Highly exothermic means reactions in which large amount of heat is given out. So, when you mix an acid or a base in water, large amount of heat is uh, liberated. So, care must be taken when you dilute an acid or a base always the correct method of diluting an acid is to adding acid uh, slowly and carefully with constant stirring into a container of water you cannot add water to an acid always add acid carefully with constant stirring into the container of water so if you are doing it on the other hand, other way that is uh, you are adding water to acid due to excessive heating one chance is the container may break the glass container may break because of excessive heating it can be dangerous it can cause burns but the other possibility is the reaction mixture may splash out 
and it can also result in burns to the person who is doing the dilution so dissolving an acid or a base in water should be done at most care should be taken when you dissolve an acid or a base in water strong acids and bases they can produce strong corrosive action they can produce strong burns severe burns in your skin so this process of dissolving an acid or a base in water is known as dilution and this is a highly exothermic process large amount of heat energy is liberated when you dissolve an acid or a base in water so care must be taken when you do this dilution process and it is done by adding acid slowly and carefully uh, by constant stirring Uh, to the container of water acid must be added slowly with constant stirring into water and if you are doing it if you are adding water to acid due to excessive heating the container may break or the reaction mixture may splash out and it can cause severe burns so this is an important question why is it recommended to add acid to water not water to acid and what will happen if you are adding water to acid so this is an important process important uh, question learn the answer so with that uh, i conclude uh, today's topics i hope it is clear to you both both the topics taken like behavior of an acid and base in water and also how to dissolve an acid or a base in water both are very important okay so that's all that's all for today